Today, we're diving into some exciting news from the tech world, specifically about Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S25. Just yesterday, we learned that Samsung may be considering MediaTek's next flagship chip, the Dimensity 9400, instead of its own Exynos chip for some models of the Galaxy S25. This is a significant shift, so let's break down what this means for you. Firstly, let's talk about the new chip itself. MediaTek has officially announced the Dimensity 9400, marking a milestone as the first 3 nanometer chip for Android phones. This new chip is designed to compete head-to-head -head with Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite and Apple's 18 Pro, solidifying MediaTek's position in the high-end smartphone market. Manufactured using TSMC's cutting-edge 3 nanometer process node, the Dimensity 9400 promises impressive performance boost across the board. MediaTek claims an incredible 35% increase in single-core CPU performance, 28% in multi-core performance, and an astonishing 41% improvement in GPU performance. Diving deeper into its architecture, the Dimensity 9400 features an octa-core CPU configuration. This includes one Cortex-X 925 CPU core clocked at 3.63 GHz, three Cortex-X 4 cores at 3.3 GHz, and four Cortex A720 cores operating at 2.4 GHz. That's some serious computing power, but it's not just the CPU that impresses. The integrated ARM Immortalist G925 GPU runs at an impressive 1,612 MHz, boasting 40% faster performance in ray tracing graphics and 44% better power efficiency. And for all the gamers out there, this DPU can support WQHD, plus resolution at a blazing fast 180Hz refresh rate. Plus, it supports Dolby Vision, ATR10, and ATR10+. Moving on to memory, the Dimensity 9400 is designed to support the latest 10.7 GEPS LPDDR5X RAM, making it the fastest RAM in the Android ecosystem right now. The chip has also doubled the L2 cache memory to 3.5 MB, enhanced L3 cache by 50% to 12 MB, and introduced a substantial 10 MB system-level cache. This all translates to an extremely responsive performance for multitasking and gaming. Now let's talk about some of the groundbreaking features powered by its onboard NPU 890. MediaTek claims a 35% improvement in power efficiency compared to the previous generation, the Dimensity 9300. This chip enables advanced AI capabilities from generative fill for stunning photos to optimizing power for 4K 60fps video recording. It's all about capturing that perfect moment effortlessly. Speaking of capturing moments, the Dimensity 9400's Imagic 1090 ISP can support camera sensors up to an incredible 320 megapixel, enabling 4K 60fps video capture in both SDR and HDR modes. And if you're looking for the ultimate in video quality, it can record 8K videos at both 60fps and 30fps in HDR. Connectivity is another strong suit of the Dimensity 9400. It's equipped with a built-in modem supporting both in wave and sub-6 GHz 5G networks, along with dual 2G, 3G, and 4G support. Additional connectivity features include Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 5.4, NFC, and a USB Type-C port, ensuring that this chip is ready for the future. Moreover, it supports multiple navigation standards such as Bidu, Galileo, GLONAS, GPS, NaviC, and QZSS, making it a versatile choice for location-based services. Now here's the big question. What does this mean for the Samsung Galaxy S25? According to reports, MediaTek has already sent the Dimensity 9400 to various Android smartphone manufacturers. Excitingly, you might see this chip in the Oppo Find X8 and the Vivo X200 set to launch next month. However, there are also whispers that Samsung might ditch its in-house Exynos 2500 in favor of the Dimensity 9400 for certain Galaxy S25 models, particularly in specific markets. So what do you think about the Dimensity 9400? Could this be a game changer for Samsung and Android phones? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell for more updates on your favorite tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving, with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, 
Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or it more completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3-nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance, However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera Capabilities Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48-megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48-megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12-megapixel sensor. 
A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3X telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5X zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably. But the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery, and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.